Well, thank you all for, for coming today. We have very special uh, time. Usually I have a lot of Santa helpers over here. Uh, so I can then dedicate to bring the food and all that, but today I'm going to do everything. So please, I apologize, first of all, and, and I appreciate your patience. Uh, um, you, I've never been here before. I mean, here in college, I always in the back, because this is my moment to serve, not to show off. But well, a little show off won't be, won't be bad. Uh, so today we're here, this is our 12th anniversary, doing consecutively this activity, the Hispanic Latino Heritage Month celebration. This is the, our kickoff event. And we're going to have, uh, it's like a month of activities. Every week at least we have one activity. You are going to be seeing this uh, sent to you, uh, uh, the calendar, but uh, because we're still working on some of those uh, 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 events. Uh, but this one is, to me, is a, one of the most important. This one and, and the event when the students have their own panel, the Latina panel. And th this time, this year, this one is particularly special because we're, we're doing this with a little bit of sadness and joy. Sadness because we are remembering the passing of Milton Clement. Milton was the engine behind all these things and was one of my mentors. And he, this would have never happened if Milton were here. As a matter of fact, I was trying to find a video of Milton, but geez, myself, I cannot do that much. Uh, so I was usually confident in the back because he was covering over here or one of the chairpersons that they are not here today with me. So, uh, so sadness because of him, but this is part of his work. The Hispanic Latino Heritage Month Committee is an ad hoc committee and is made in, in a great part, uh, part because of him. I think also he founded one many years ago before having this, uh, our, uh, this, this version of the committee. So, well, welcome, welcome to everybody. I also want to, well, I'm beginning remembering him, but also would like to, to thank uh, President Sprega. He has been a strong support of us here for so many years, and perhaps, you know, this is my first time in the microphone, so let me take the opportunity to thank you for, for the work you have done for, for us. Thank you. Well, you, you have been in that position longer than him, so that's why. Uh, so the next thing we have for today, well, we're going to have food at the end. I just have to bring it. It's in the kitchen. I have to bring it at the end. And what I'm, but, so the next one is going to be uh, presenting the, our award. Every year we all confer uh, an, uh, what, I call, what we call community award to a person who has dedicated uh, to, to the Latino community, but also to immigrants, to also to, to the, um, the disadvantaged people in our community. As a matter of fact, Milton won, won twice this prize. So besides being in the back, helping us, he also won this, this award. And this time we were also very, very, very lucky to have a, a, a very uh, committed our day. And we also are very also grateful and um, to have also President Briga uh, conferring that award to, to the awardee. Uh, in this case, we're going to, the person is going to be is Milton Valencia from the Boston Globe, but also a former student of us, and he also has been a resident. Uh, with also, he's a member of our community, which a great job in several outlets, I mean, media outlets in the, in the region, in the South Coast region, and now, of course, uh, in in, in Boston, so I will ask then President Spriga, please to come forward and confer the award to uh, to Milton uh, to Milton Valencia. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's always a great occasion at the college to celebrate our diversity and the wonderful makeup of our. Uh, BCC family, uh, and this is no exception. Uh, 
the Hispanic uh, Awards is a very important part of uh, our celebration of diversity at the college. And uh, we're honored to have uh, one of our own members of the BCC family, Mr. Valencia, uh, who has now uh, moved on. I always tell our students at BCC, you can go anywhere from BCC, and he is a living proof of that uh, in uh, his career. Uh, so we're honored to have him with us, and uh, we're very excited about uh, uh, the celebration of the Hispanic culture and the important part that it plays in, in not just at BCC, but in the country, uh, not just our region. So, uh, Mr. Valencia, I want to congratulate you and uh, uh, ask you to come forward to accept our award. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, just wanted to say thank you very much. Uh, this was kind of unexpected. Uh, this is the first I'm hearing of Milton Clement, who I knew well when I was here at BCC, so I'm actually sorry to hear his, his passing. He was um, great to all students and really helpful for me um, before he knew I, who I was, really. And uh, another professor was the one who nominated me for this, Mike Vieira, uh, who works as a professor, also worked in the community, and he's retired now, but I, I know he still hangs around. And he had asked me if, if I'd be willing to do this, and I, I said, sure. It was kind of unexpected. Um, but uh, I, I think the work that I had here at BCC with, with everyone who was involved, um, not only at BCC, but in the Latino community growing up, you know, why, uh, my father was one of the first Mexicans to kind of growing up in, in an area of a lot of Portuguese people in Fall River, so I know things were difficult for him, but um, uh, just kind of always leaning on not only the Latino community, but a community in general. Um, wherever I was in, in different newspapers, I worked in uh, Central Falls, Rhode Island, a big Columbia community, and there they kind of adopted me. I became part of that community, and I think it's that network of everyone working together that's really important that I benefited from. Um, same thing in Worcester and now in Boston, kind of getting to be part of a community uh, and, and kind of, you know, relating with people. And that really helps. It, it, it builds a platform that you can go off of. Uh, a group of, you know, I was born and raised in Fall River. I remember that pond coming here in elementary school, um, coming here in high school, probably when we shouldn't have, and then, and also walking here in, in, in college as well, kind of just walking the tracks. I was here, you know, doing all, all the work that you guys are doing. Uh, a group of students recently we were talking about kind of what could we do to kind of come back and talk to students in Fall River and um, uh, I've always considered working in Fall River again but I think the best thing I could say is that um, look out look out the window and, and see the pond and see see the, the horizon pretty much and the different things you could do I'm glad to be in Boston uh, I love my job um, I, I one of the clips I had was was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize I didn't win but it was still nominated for a Pulitzer Prize uh, for work for reaching out to the immigrant community so I'm glad to give back um, but but, you know, everyone who has given so much to me, I'm, I'm really thankful for that. And I think what if I could tell any student that um, enjoy your time here, enjoy the professors here, but just know you can go anywhere, too. Um, part of that package, I was in Paris, where Mike Vieira is right now. So it's just, you know, um, embrace the community you have here, the Latino community, the BCC community, uh, but kind of, you know, see that horizon, too. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Valencia, and for your words. And now I know more also about what what you have done here before. Particularly, the, I know now that where the high school guys hang on now. When I see them there, I will I, I will know now they have a they have a future. You see them there, but they will have a future. And well, if we uh, remember, we're going to have now a, a month long. Of, uh, Activities. I mean, this is not just. This is just the beginning. Every week, at least, we're going to have one of the, of these activities, and I, it will be sent it to you by email. I was, I, now you go, I, Now we have more time, of course, to advertise these things better. To have the things in buildings. To talk about, uh, ahead. Going, for instance, next week, um, we're going to do something interesting. We're going to do something. We're celebrating again 400 years. This time, 400 years. Uh, we're not celebrating, but remembering the 400 years of the passing of, of Shakespeare and Cervantes. Uh, do you know that they died the same day? 
Well, they don't. They die two days apart. But, but for a long time, but for a long time, we thought that was April the 23rd, the day. And then we are going to have Margaret Cos and I are going to present to to our classes and uh, showing the how modern those uh, writers were, how important they were for the English language and for the Spanish language. Then the next week, I mean, the, the weeks after that, we're going to have another field trip. Our field trip to Battleship Cove was very successful that year. I'm continuing that. One of those trips was the, is the John, John P. Uh, yeah, Joseph P. Kennedy. One of the boats that was part of the blockade of Cuba during the missile crisis. And during that presentation, I'm going to talk to my students about uh, a kind of kinder transport. The same that happened during Nazi Germany when the children from Germany, Jewish children from Germany were taken to London, to, 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 uh, to England, and the Cubans did the same thing in 1962, like 14,000 kids came uh, without their parents uh, to America, of course, during the blockade. And we're also working on, on, on a um, conversation with uh, one of our, now, our, uh, you have seen the, the video already, is, is Milagros uh, Sanchez, our, our former student that is now going to Simmons College. And we're going to have an interview with her and the students, so she's going to share in more detail uh, her experience here in college. And you, I mean, I'm saying you know her because the video has been posted in, in our webpage, so you have been, I'm sure you have seen her. If you open the page, you can see her. So those are the highlights of the things we are going to offer to you, but we are working on, on more, more things. So I hope, please, that, that you help us with that, bring in the students to be aware of, uh, of the calendar. The, I want also to mention something regarding the, 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 um, the audience. Not having many students is the best reason to do this. And not having a, a, a many uh, people, that's the rare reason to do that. After 13 years we're still doing this, is because we need it. It's not a reason to quit, but a reason to stay and keep doing this because we have to bring uh, this type of awareness to our community. We need it. Notice that uh, how hard it for us to grab those students to, uh, over here. So I, we, but we need the support of everybody. I said that uh, Hispanics do have a presence, do have a voice, but we need also people to listen. Uh, so start, to start a conversation. And I think we are, in America we are in that process now, in the process of starting a conversation. As you see, we're coming, but we need the, the other side to start a com the conversation. I hope you're going to help us this year uh, uh, to do that. So with that, uh, if you are patient, then I will, I will bring the food. I mean, just the one-man show today, this year. So if you're patient, I will bring the food, and then we, we can all share that with perhaps with with Mr. Valencia in more detail about that, the story about the high school kids in the pond. Thank you all for coming. And